uh, I want to get back to this this uh, advanced placement. See, we don't want to just talk about college prep. We don't want to just talk and not produce results. So what we want to do is offer our students advanced placement college level courses while they are in high school. And the things that uh, our students are doing is sometimes they don't come with the ability level, but that's why we have teachers. That's why we have educators. That's, that's our job to share what we know and convey it to the students so that they receive it and learn and even go far beyond what we know. So what we offer at Providence St. Mel are what's called advanced placement classes. We have, uh, I'm a math teacher, I'm an advanced placement math teacher, and I'm so proud of my students to say that for the last two years, our students have averaged a four out of five on the AP exam. That's called dominating the AP exam. <laughs> that's called dominating the AP exam. That's dominant. And I'm proud that's what our students are doing. So this is called results. See, this is a long way when the students, like Ms. Hatch said, when they come to the college with the credit, that's a long way from struggling with, with college. Absolutely. When you come into the college with college credit, that's a long way from struggling. That's a long way from uh, our children coming back home saying, well, you know, I'm having a difficult time adjusting, you know. No, our, st our children are not having a difficult time adjusting. They're doing quite well. Absolutely. So that's math. We've had an incredible advanced placement English teacher, probably one of the best teachers I've ever seen in my life, producing results with our children. So this is so wonderful. We've got children who come to the school. They need a little help. We do that. We've got some students who come, they're gifted there, and we've got, we've got room for them as well. So I'm doing a lot of talking, but I, but, uh, I, I, I want to, uh, one of the things that Mr. Adams says, uh, and, and I'm just going to use it here, he says that he talks about a four-year, 40-year plan or something like that, <laughs> where he talks about us getting our children to work hard in college for four years. Sure. Work hard, as hard as you can for four years. He calls it a 440 plan. <laughs> See, you work hard that four years, as hard as you can, so that you can enjoy the, the 40 day. after that. Absolutely. Now, now we want our children to stay in school for much more than four years. You know, we're getting the master's, but the, the doctorate degree, so, so, forth, so on and so forth. But, I, but hopefully you understand what he's saying. We want to motivate and inspire our children to work hard for four years so that they can reap the benefits down the road. Absolutely. Uh, so we've got this open house again coming up, Providence St. Mel Open House. Uh, the address to the school is 119 South Central Park Boulevard. 119 South Central Park Boulevard. The phone number, let me show you that one more time. Uh, the phone number, you want more information about the open house, 773-722-4600, extension 3312. Ask for Miss Wilson. She's the admissions director of Providence St. Mel School. Or you can call me. You want more information? 773-722-4600, extension 3001. Let me add one thing. One. Um, Obviously, uh, we talked a lot about open house, but for you eighth graders, if you want an opportunity, and you should not, and I should repeat, you should not choose a high school without touring it. It would kind of be like your parents buying a house or a car without test driving or doing a walkthrough. You want to make certain that the high school that you've chosen is one that fits you. So we offer at St. Mel a program called Shadowing. It's an opportunity for our 8th graders. We do offer it for our 7th graders, but primarily for 8th grade students. We offer an opportunity for you to come to our school. You will shadow, uh, if you will, one of our ambassadors. Our ambassadors are spokespersons for the school. They are children. They are students, I should say that are in good standing so they are academically some of them participate in some of the sports some of them participate in chess or in the ap courses that mr hendricks has spoken about but the goal is to have you shadow one of our students so you can see what it is like real life yourself see a lot of times you get caught up on perception of what people say oh that's really too strict and what we like you to know is that there is nothing that you're going to get in life that's not going to come with some type of effort and if it does come it probably will not last so we want you to come we have nothing to hide we love 
love it. We offer you lunch. You get an opportunity to visit with our students. You interact with staff. You get to walk through our halls, see other students, and you will come and see firsthand. If you would like to shadow, if you're an eighth grade student, please call our admissions department. All you have to do is call. We have to get the permission from uh, your parents, and we're actually having one tomorrow. We offer them usually anytime. We do them in groups. But if you're an eighth grade student, you want to come, and you want to come shadow with Providence St. Mel. We're offering a shadow day tomorrow? Actually, a shadow day tomorrow, Friday. It November 11th is Veterans Day. We usually are in school. Most times other schools are not. So those are our best days. But you have to have confirmation because we have to have permission by your parents. And sometimes if you're already in school, I know the CPS does a great job and they usually allow eighth graders at least one or two days a year that they can shadow. So if you're in school for a day and you want to come on a certain day, they will work with us. You will get an excuse because you still will be in a form of education, simply not at your school. But shadowing is a great opportunity, and you definitely should do it um, at any high school, but in particular, Providence St. Mel. So if you're interested in shadowing, call the school right now. If you're interested in being a part of the shadow program where you come and shadow, you become a Providence St. Mel Knight for a day, you learn about what, 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 what level of, what degree of education we're teaching our kids. You learn the subject matter. You learn what's the what's the culture the climate what's the how does the school feel does it seem like it'd be a good fit for you you come you shadow you learn more about providence st mel what number should you call good question you call 773-722-4600 extension 3312 you ask for miss wilson or you ask for me mr Hendricks. 773-722-4600 extension 3001 do you have anything else to say about the open house, Ms. Hatch? Again, we just think that it is a great opportunity. It is one of our premier events. You'll get an opportunity to visit with student staff, our wonderful principal, our president, uh, parents. There's a parent panel. So parents, you are more than welcome. We don't want this just to be all students and all parents. We have something for everyone. Parents, you'll have an, op you'll have an opportunity to have or be a part of our panel forum where we have real-life parents where we're not, we don't script them. We simply invite them on stage, and whenever question you'd like to ask, they will, they will answer it. Uh, it is the best opportunity to get a whole picture because everyone that's involved in the school, from teachers to faculty to staff to administrators to a lot of our students will be there. So there is no better opportunity to see the school. You will have an opportunity to tour. Again, we have V103's Ramonski Love that will be hosting it. We'll have music. There will be refreshments. It is a great opportunity to come out, and we just would invite you to come out and take a look. Hopefully you've been hearing and seeing our ads. We're running bus ads. Um, we're having advertisements, and those are all, I should add, all of those advertisements are, are by our children. They're not actors. Those children that you hear with perfect diction and being able to speak on cue. And I have to add that we gave those students probably not, not much notice than Mr. Hendricks gave me today. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> and they performed. And not only did they perform, mm. they performed well. Mm. That we're using them in all of our commercials. So if you hear our commercial on V103, on uh, v I'm sorry, WVN, WVON, those are our children, and we're very proud of that. Mm. You need to call in. I know you have a question. You, you have a question for either me or Miss Hatch. Don't be afraid. You call in. You ask us a question about what's Providence St. Mel about, and like Miss Hatch said, we're not trying to hide anything. You call in.